Before the video starts, I want to say thank you for all of the support. All feedback is appreciated because I always want to improve the content. Hope you enjoy. So we hear three people running up. Um, I hold this close angle. It's a very common angle, but I'm confident in my shot. And my teammate is actually watching a window to my left. You'll see how this plays out in a second. I'm close to the door, so if somebody does peek the window, they have to full peek to peek me. So my teammate can have first contact at all times. Wait, window. Window's lit. Don't die though. Watching your left. Alright, good ass. When I heard the voice lines, I instantly knew it was boss. Us knowing that we have two other teams at least that are coming to the entrances, we're going to play it slow and clear these guys without taking any damage since bots do a lot of damage to armors, especially scav bots, since they have tier 5, tier 4 ammo. That's a, that's a grenade moment. That's a grenade moment. It'd be like that. Oh, he just ate. Sorry, boss is lit. You good? You good? I think that's him. Yeah. That's there, there's two players on us. There's two players on us. I just killed one. So right here, you can hear say call out that he killed someone, and there's another one. So while me and Wi-Fi were duo clearing the scav boss, we had someone watch our back, which is usually whoever's the last one in, which is Sade in this case. Um, I always recommend having one person watching the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we killed scout boss, we reset our mags, we healed up, and now we're going to engage the team on the other side. Uh, we know at least one of the teams are there since we hear their shots, um, and we don't want to loot before we clear out the area. Uh, I always recommend this, clearing everybody out before you start looting because it just minimizes the possibility of somebody so riding or somebody shooting there. you in the back. And we just like to feel comfortable when we're looting. So the game plan right now is to let them come in and we get one free kill at least. These guys seem kind of decent since they open the middle door which takes more attention off of this door. The only problem is there's no way to play good coming through this entrance. It's literally a one way with the corner and we just can nade spam. We all have five nades apiece. Um, so this should be fairly easy. So we're just holding, waiting for a pick. I'm out of the pick the right door. Oh, here with me, say Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Always remember composure is key. If you listen to my team's comms, or if you watch a Sade video and hear our comms as well, we're always composed, always keeping it simple, straight to the point, what we need, what we don't need, help here. You wanna back up? Got one, you got one. I'm peeking. Fucking scab, you know, holy. I'm throwing nade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to the nade. We can rush them. So I get the open and pick with the first guy, and what if I kill someone with the nade? So we automatically get aggressive, as you guys can see. We bully these guys outside, and they end up holding this door, which is a very common angle. Like, you get in the standoff a lot of times at this same exact door. Um, There's another one on the other side. That plays on the both sides. I'll go from the garage, alright? You see a Sade 
Sid realizes this and he instantly goes to go split off and he's gonna flank around, which is he's gonna relieve pressure and I'll we're just waiting for him to make a play at this point. I'm popping the painkiller. I'm on site, I'm on site. He's up. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. He's in the middle. He's gonna finish me right. Yeah. Dead. Dude. Got to the left. Where's he got to the left? In the middle. He's in the middle. He's, He's in the yeah. middle. I'm. I'm leading. Mark. I'm leading. Leading. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's running. In this situation, I'm using the scav's behavior to figure out where the player is. You can see the ones on the hill are yelling and shooting, and I aim at them first to see where they're looking to find out where the other guy's location is. Did you get him? This is it. This was it, this was it, this was it, this was it. Really? You don't need to carry the armor by the way. It doesn't work that. I grabbed everything, don't worry. No, 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 don't take down. There's some loot. There's some loot. I'm gonna drink one of water the bottles though. Not large style here. Dude, I didn't even hear him, you know. So at this point we're pretty confident that either all the players are dead or did not come into the fortress and the second wave of bots should just spawn so we're going to clear these guys out and now it's time to loot. I have like 15 stacks of like 7 and 31 I'll be playing with the MPX next round. I was on a win streak by the way. I just want to say you always want to make sure you're checking the scavs just in case they have tier 4 ammo. I always check like the first bullets in their mag and their vest and if there's tier 4 then I end up taking them. We'll see.
I'm ready in the basement, oh. boy. I'm ready. You guys probably see this a lot where people bring their bag down to the boat and then they leave it there and then they go do whatever. This is very efficient because when you need to transport loot, you could just put it all on the extract. You hit the switch or go grab another bag, grab more loot, and you come down here and then you sort it all out while you have 100 plus seconds to extract. It's very convenient. Uh. There's no escape for you. 